What's up, Piggy Ponians? I am Mato Convoy, and welcome back to Hangar 88. Today, I'm continuing the build of the Kotobukiya Gurren Lagan. Um, got the uh, legs and the torso done so far, so now we're going to get started on the arms. Before we get started, always remember our safety glasses as we are using sharp tools such as flush cutters and hobby knives, and anything can happen. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get these parts moved out of the way. And uh, yeah, I said I was going to do the arms. I'm also going to try to push for the head today if we can fit that in. And I'm just going to build one arm this time. And I'll do the other one off camera. In between this and the next video, which will be backpack wing and the remaining uh, and all the little uh, drill bits and other accessories. Okay, what am I doing? 13 and 16, okay. Here's 13. Careful with these. John. Yeah. Careful with these because we do have these little tabs here. Certainly that's gonna be used for something. Wanna make sure that we don't cut those off and mistake them for gates. So let's see, what's next? Polycap H. This little guy right here. say, at least for this one, this this may or may not be a trend with Kotobukiya kits, but the polycaps on this guy, like on polycap number two, or the, the regular polycaps here, each polycap is unique, so that could, uh, that could be problematic. For anybody who's uh, who's doing them up like I am right now, where you cut out all the pieces first and then slap it together, that's a ball going in. So cap, because th yeah, this that particular shade. A brown will blend in very well with my carpet, which is not something I want. Okay, it's okay. Next, grabbing some stuff off of the eye runner. Did just grab this little guy right here, the last piece off of the H runner. And here, scooch these guys over to the side real quick. And let's see. said before, I thought Bondi's numbering on their sprues was confusing. It's like, yeah, we've got the pieces right next to each other, but the numbers are, you know, 2, 6, and 9. It does not make sense. Wouldn't it make more sense if they were like four, five, six, something like that? I don't know. I'm gonna quit rambling about that now. Okay. And we're gonna get, let's see, we're getting a whole mishmash of pieces here. Okay, we're gonna get F2. Shoulder pieces. Okay, so we're going to 
Okay, C and F3, okay. Okay. There's one thing I'm not too crazy about, though, with this kit, is it doesn't seem to be trying very hard to hide its gates like on here. This is the one, let's see, what was that, 20, it's 23, yeah, this is the one that's going on the right side, and the one gate is right there, but not there, why is, you know, and like with the legs, pull one in real quick to show you, you know, on the thigh section right here, we, you know, each uh, thigh piece had a, had one gate on one side, two gates on the other. The two gates are on the part that goes on the outside. End rant. <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, if, you, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I really do like to try to hide my gates as best as possible, and that kind of stuff's annoying. That's another reason also why I'm not overly crazy whenever, whenever something like arms and legs and stuff are the exact same on, uh, You know, between the runners because yeah they might use the exact same piece but the gates aren't symmetrical Anyways, like they are right here <laughs> okay but yeah for this one we got what 15 This side. Boop. There we go. And that's it for right now. And let's see what else. What else? We got some red stuff, don't we? This guy right here on solid piece for the upper arm. These guys are gonna make the forearm. Get these guys out. Let's see. Three. Yeah, let's not gouge that out. Oh, uh, yeah, come on. Switch these guys down. Totally mix them up here, but we also have a head to snip out. Oh yeah, 
this head's going to be real simple. Like 90s high grade Gundam simple. Uh, we'll do the regular face for now. And again, that's just amazing that the face comes pre painted in this. Normally, Bondi would have you paint it over yourself and maybe give you a sticker to go on top of the face part, but yeah, there's going to be, see, that's the head. There's going to be a couple, like, a couple more pieces here and there. Yeah, here's the ears. Over here, number three, let me guess, is going to go on. Oh, wow. That one's a little backwards. Okay. Let's not forget. Stripe for the center of the helmet. I'm sure we've got some stuff coming off of here. Let's see. And we've got nine and six. Right here. And six for the thumb piece. I do gotta give it up to Kotobukiya that at least, you know, on the hands, the gates aren't on any of the, any of like the little gaps in the joints for the, uh, for the fingers on the hands. Let's see, we've got a couple. Faces there. We've got I seven. Wow, that is a big chunk going inside that head. <laughs> oh boy. Alright. J2. Not that there's a whole lot of difference. Sunglasses for the Team Diguran symbol. I believe that is all of our pieces for both head and the arm. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. I'm sure I'm missing a polycam for the hand somewhere. Okay, I already got that one. That was the bowl. Alrighty, so now we've got everything shaved out for our arm and head. So, or we got everything cut out. So, give me just a second. Shave everything down. All 
Alrighty, got all of our pieces uh, cut and shaved down, so let's go ahead and get started putting them together and hope to God we can get it done before my uh, top camera's bad or uh, memory card runs out. Let's see, first off. First off. Oh, we did have a second. Two of them. Okay. And no need to shave them down as keeping those gate marks on will help to keep that joint nice and tight. Put the poly cap on and then put the ball poly cap on and then put hinge poly cap on this guy's got a little bit of a lip on one side of the little pegs here got a little bit of a lip there on one side of the pegs make sure that lip goes that way <laughs> and then we get these guys let's see plugs in here Sandwiches all together. Like so. Next we build the elbow joint. First we're gonna take these guys. Put that peg through the loop. This guy's gonna peg into the other one and sandwich all together. Now we get started building the arm. Let's see. Instruction tells us that this is the same. Oh, one more polycap. That's gonna finish off this particular polycap runner. Okay, this is gonna go down there. Down there. Okay. Polycap C and J. Let's see here. Okay, C is gonna go up top here somewhere. There we go. It's going to go to the bottom for the wrist. Yeah, even amount of slack on either side of the tabs there, so no real concern about which way we got them going in. And then we're going to take this guy's, the little deal where the drills pop out at the wrist and we're back again guys sorry about that I, my camera was telling me the little display up on my screen was telling me I had about 10 minutes left and then it suddenly cuts out so I do apologize for that but anyways back where we were getting to take uh, these guys after we put in all of our poly caps and such oh, let's try not to get them lying all out of place here and I'm not so sure yep I had that piece in wrong the little wrist drill ports pretty sure I have those in wrong just a sec here Two way over here Yep, I had them in wrong the first time. Okay. Let's get you back in. And you back in. Come on, don't bust me. Alright, 
then we sandwich the two main red arm pieces together. Take this big old black piece. Bring that on top. Let's see, yeah, we got these uh, tabs to line up in here. And of course, you gotta line them all up at the same time. Well, something ain't gonna go right. Alright, get it. That front tab is being a boy. There we go. And then let's see. Is that right? Is that... Okay, that's right. This way. Snap on that yellow trim piece right there. There is the forearm. Take the hand. Main section. Pop in the thumb. And pop in this little knuckle guard here, making sure we line up those tabs. Is the hand and last before we get the rest get the whole arm assembled got the shield here we've got these little guys going in on the underside I have no clue what that's about why that wasn't just molded in but it is there and be careful uh, shaving these guys down because that little a uh, thin bit of plastic right there. I don't think you can see it, but on one of these guys I did manage to Stress it a little bit and get a little bit of a white mark on there But yeah, those guys Really look like they want to snap Alrighty Piece probably cap 2a little ball goes on that peg there and then just start layering on top of this main black piece the yellow the flaming skull Shoulder 
goes on with this thick part going over that big socket there. Putting these down all together, putting this arm all together. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Got a pad inside the armor for the upper arm. Then we got that little slot on the shoulder joint. That lined up. Put the elbow down. What else to do? Still, I can't get it. Oh, I can't get it in there. There we go. Got a lot of this stuff on this. Okay. It's getting real, real tight. Oh, <laughs> I'm a little bit of a line here. I'm a little bit of a line here in this little credit so I'm not sure if that's it. I don't know if it's stress cracking or something else. Anyways, we got that on. I'm popping the elbow joint with this long pad, this long peg coming out, which will peg into the forearm. Hand will peg into there. A little disappointing that the wrist isn't on a ball and socket joint, but nothing to lose your mind over. Pop that shoulder joint on there. Give us a little wiggle room with that ball and socket joint. And there, we've got one Gurren Lagann arm. Right arm, let's go ahead and throw the head together real quick. Alright, so we're gonna start with this big block here. We're gonna have this one. Obviously, this is gonna be the uh, bottom where the neck's gonna plug in. This little horizontal tab is gonna be towards the front. That's where the face plugs in. Whichever one you choose. It does look like you will be able to swap them out. And then, plug on the parts of the helmet and, and so that, yeah. Oh yeah, I'll try that real quick. Just sandwich the two front and back halves of the helmet real quick. And yeah, it looks like you should be able to line the helmet on and off to swap out that face. Got the ears. Going in like so. Come on. Got to line up that little notch there. That's one of the bittersweet things about Code of the Kia kids is that they have certain uh, tabs that'll have they'll be like shaped at a right angle you should make sure that you tab stuff in on the right on the correct side I'm not so sure I am it how much more difficult to get it in the slot it's supposed to go into. But again it is to be very much appreciated that 
Something like those ears. It's actually a plastic piece and not something that you're going to have to paint over. Put the crest on there and there is a helmeted logon. <laughs> Okay, so I forgot to hit record whenever I came back after changing out the files on the deal, but um, I forgot to hit record on my microphone and on my webcam. I got everything on top cam, but um, but yeah, there we've got the uh, the head and arm done. Um, sorry again about the about all the technical difficulties with this one, guys. But thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, beat that like button like it owes you money. Kick the annotation for more videos that I've done and smack that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more videos coming up. Thanks again, you guys, and I will see you in the next video.